YouTube, Mr. Tutorials here, and I am going to teach you um, in Paint.net how to color a line art or black and white picture, preferably comics or drawings, not necessarily photos, but I'm I've, I, I'm more of a graphic artist, not really a photographer or photo editor or anything. So, um, open up paint.net, which I will put a, a link in the description. And, uh, just turning up my brush size here. That's good. Okay. Ah, control Z. Okay, there we go. Alright, um, first we're gonna go to file. Open. Open up your picture. In this case, I have... Let me find a photo. Okay, no photo. So, we are going to grab an image off of the web. So, open up your browser. We are going to go to DeviantArt. And for this tutorial, we are just going to use this picture. Um, let's see if I can try to find it again. Cloud Strife. We're gonna put Crisis while we're at it to find that certain picture. Should be in here. Right here. I guess, as you can see, the picture's already colored, but I'm going to take the line art photo of it. We are going to save that image onto our desktop. Don't need to rename it. Go back into paint.net. File, or you don't even hit, need to hit file. Just click open. Um, go to your desktop. Open that, that picture that you just saved. And here we go. Okay, first off in your layers dialog, what we'll need to do is make a new layer. Make sure you have layer 2 highlighted. Click the properties and set it on multiply. Now we're going to do his hair first. So we're going to get a nice yellow, nice blonde color. Mm, zoom in. Why not? Okay, now start coloring. Uh, it's not the color I want. There you go. Start coloring in the hair. Doesn't matter if you get it anywhere else. Just get the hair. Um, as you can see, I'm not really taking any care. Just trying to get the whole hair. Did not mean to rhyme on that. Alright, filling all that in, get the very tip of that, whoops, oh no, alright, there we go, okay, I'm pretty sure we got the whole hair, all the hair selected. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to take our eraser tool and erase around this. And I suggest that you pick a photo with thicker lines because, as you can see, whoops, look, just blobs, not the exact hair where the hair goes in so you don't need to take as much accuracy and as you can see this is a smaller image so if you were to 
view it from the size, then you couldn't see all those little missing spots, but you should still get those. It's okay if you go back into the hair. Mm, oh, I forgot. Go to back to your paintbrush tool where you started coloring. If you missed any spots or you accidentally erased any, just color back over them. Do your right click and then it'll go back to white. So you don't really have to hit the eraser. Just hit your right click and that'll get back into it. Alright, I'm going to zoom in and change my brush color, or my brush size, sorry, to an 8, get these bigger parts. Um, I'm using a Wacom, Wacom, however you say it, I don't really care, um, tablet, I have a pen, works fine, I would like a Cintiq, but I don't want to put out a million dollars for it. Okay, maybe make that smaller. Get in here. Into these smaller areas. Very detailed areas. And this process is painstakingly uh, big, um, time consuming. Not hard, but very, very time consuming. So I suggest you do this if you have time on your hands. Zoom out. You can do this with a mouse too, just a bit harder. Get it in. Oh, and this picture is also already shaded. So that's also a nice little perk. This picture, it's already shaded, so you don't need to go back and shade with other colors unless you really wanted to. But we'll get into that later. Um, not really into the shading process, but you can do that. And I'll show you how to do probably the clothes or the hair or something. Alright, now once you're done with this hair, click New Layer, Properties. Make sure you have Layer 3 highlighted. Multiply again. And then we're going to do a uh, skin tone. Yeah, that's fine. Still no need to worry if the, uh, the color gets into the other pieces of the, f of the face or the hair goes off. Because um, we can always erase those later. not really affecting the hair as much as I thought it would, but you still need, probably need to erase it, probably discolored it just a tad bit, but it doesn't look like it has too much. Alright, um, he's very tan cloud, I don't think that's his exact, um, his exact skin color, but, you know, we can do the eyes on this layer also. Maybe not so blue. There we go. Alright, um, I think we're done with that. So click new layer. Properties, multiply, like we did with the other two layers. 